Hey everyone, today we're going to be installing Plex onto the QNAP using the QTS software. We're not using a Docker or anything like that. We're just going to install Bare Metal App Center and install Plex and get this all set up. So I've already set up my QNAP NAS using six hard drive bays, two solid state NVMe drives and a RAM upgrade up to 16 gigabytes. If you want to find out how to do that, then I'm going to leave a link to my previous tutorial video in the description. So first thing I want to do is to make sure that we are logged into our QNAP. If you don't know how to do this, then please follow the link in the description for the full setup process. And then once we're in App Center, what we're going to do is to do a search for Plex. We can find this under Entertainment. We also find Plex Media Server here. And what we want to do is to set this up so that we can view content on other devices. And then that's going to be our server for that. So I'm going to press the Install button here. This is a third-party app. I'm going to press Agree. And then this is going to start the install process. So that's nearly done, 80%. And now that's done, we're going to press the Open button. And then this is going to open up Plex on a new browser window. So if you've never used Plex before, then what you should do is to create an account. I'm going to create one with my email address. If you have an existing account, just type it in here with your password, or you can press the sign up with email button at the bottom. So now that we've signed in, we can go into our Plex server. So this is going to have the same IP address as our QNAP server, and it's going to authenticate. So if this is stuck for any extended period of time, just refresh. Now we have our username list, press user. It's giving us some basic instructions, press got it. We're not going to pay for Plex Pass. We're going to quit out of this. And then here we are setting up the server name. So I'm going to use the same one as my actual QNAP server name here. I'm going to allow access to media outside my home. So here you're going to select Add Library. And we're going to select Films. And we're going to press Next here. And we're going to click Browse for Media Folder. So the folder that we want is going to be contained within the Share folder here. And then this basically contains all of our shared folders that we've created, as well as various bits of hard drive data. And the one that I want to use today is one that I created earlier called Media. So this is my Media folder under QNAP. I'm going to select Media here, and I'm going to select the subfolder of here called Movies. Press Add, and then Add Library. Then I'm going to add another library as well. I'm going to add TV shows. Press Next, Browse. I'm going to find the same folder as well under Share, and then under Media. Then I'm going to select TV here, press Add. Click Add Library, then I'm going to press Next. So this is going to add two subfolders, films and TV shows, press Next, and then press Done. Press Next. Here I'm going to click Finish Setup. I'm going to disable this. And if we look at our Films folder here, we have various films that we have added here. If I click on, let's say, 1917, that's pulled from Media, and we can see that these four films have been added and they have been added onto my QNAP here. So I can stream these or this will also happily transcode as well. So this is Plex playing from my QNAP. So that's the very basic setup on how to get Plex working through QNAP on a Mac. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.